Hey, this is Stephen Palacino from Page One Branding, and I'm filling in this week for Becca as she is away. And today I wanna to share with you my top four tips, easy tips, to make any Squarespace site better. At the end of the video, stick around because we're also going to promo a new event for the Squarespace community. This is a brand new event that'll be taking place in Charleston, South Carolina next spring, and I can't wait to share with you those details. But first, let's talk about my four easy tips to make any Squarespace site better. Let's dive in. So what I've got here is this Live Free Retreats demo site that I've made for all-inclusive Colorado retreats and adventures. Now obviously what I love about Squarespace, the Fluid Engine, is the ability to control uh, how wide our um, bounding boxes are for our text here. But what I don't want to do is have my headline text, you see as soon as my headline text um, gets too small in the bounding box then it splits the line and I've got this odd space created underneath the word Colorado. So I'm trying to give it more breathing room there, but as I do that, then my paragraph text gets pretty long on the screen. And as designers, we always wanna keep our, our text and the, and, the, and the user's eyes pretty focused on our content. So I picked up a trip a tip, excuse me, a long time ago from Will Myers, and that's text wrap balance. I love this, I've been using it on my sites ever since, and we're gonna do that right now. So let's hit exit here, exit, and I'm gonna just grab this code off my screen. And, and paste this in here. And what this does, instantly you see my paragraph text got balanced on the screen and came inside the bounding box and, and now it's kind of aligned with the text above it. The awesome part here is as my screen changes size, then my heading and my paragraph continue to dynamically resize and stay very visually balanced. I love this. I think it's a great um, tool for designers to keep their content visually balanced and not run across the screen or have to chase line breaks. That's very frustrating, I know, as designers, we're always kind of chasing these line breaks of text. So text wrap balance has been a game changer for my sites. So thanks, Will Myers, for that. Um, another one here that I, I love to use is um, adding a background image to our menus. Now, when you've done the work to do a nice site like this and you and you have it on brand, if we click our mobile view, you'll see we can usually only just change our colors here. But uh, Becca uh, has given us some code to add a background image here. You don't have to do it, but I think when you're, when you're building sites and you really wanna make a cohesive experience, it's great to go ahead and add some visual interest to your menu as long as it's not dis dis uh, distracting and if it helps add to the uh, to the visual impact of the brand. So I've got this text over from Becca here that I have dropped in and as soon as I do that, boom, you'll see that I am now mirroring my homepage background image on my mobile menu right there. And we do this, this is the, this is the original code from Becca here, header menu, background image, and we're just dropping in via our um, custom files here. We're dropping in a background image in between our parentheses here. And then I've added this pseudo element before the, the background image that's gonna adjust the color and opacity here. So you can just change that to whatever you'd like based on the image and how dark you need it. So I've got it up to about 85% there. So we got some good legibility and we've got some visual interest that really ties in the, uh, the, uh, Im the immersive experience of this website for users. So background image, thank you so much uh, to Becca for that one. Now here's, a, here's one I learned uh, when I first started building websites on Squarespace from Christy Price, and that was the ability to get rid of this Squarespace announcement bar close button, this X. Why would I wanna do that? Sometimes the announcement bars are used, like we're using it on this demo site, to, to promote things that we don't want people to miss. And we want that to stay up there. If we, if we allow a user to even accidentally X this off, then they won't see this until they clear their cache the next time. So this is some very simple code here that we're just gonna drop in. And that's gonna get rid of that ability to, for users to X that off. You see that right there, it's just gone and it obviously maintains for um, mobile view as well. This is really, it's not so much a visual update as much as it is something that helps users when they're navigating your website. If you have important messaging and a user accidentally, um, or they're sh maybe they're sharing their computer with somebody and somebody X's off that message, that whatever you put up here, even if it's changing, they're not gonna see that for a while. So it's good to just hide that and keep that visual frame for the user on the website. The last one I wanna share is from Ben Manley over at Site Club. And he's put out a, an, an awesome ultimate designer um, dividers pack. Squarespace obviously gives us the option to add 
built-in section dividers. We've got those here, excuse me, um, right here, edit section, dividers, and they've got some great ones. I use these all the time. However, when you're designing a site like this, this is for the Colorado Rockies. We want it to be immersive. We want it to feel cohesive to the environment. I think that we can go a step further and just give some visual interest to these section dividers here. So instead, we're gonna turn these dividers off and on the downloads and all these codes will be available in the comments below. So um, this, you can head over after the video ends to download this pack. But I've already downloaded the pack from Ben Manley and changed the color to match this green below. So what I'm gonna do is hit add block, image. We're gonna drop this image here below our section here at the bottom and we're gonna snap it to the right, come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. One more, okay, one more, there we go. I've already got it. Uh, in my library, but for you, you could upload it after you download it. I'm going to hit select, mountain divider, add. And once I've done that, I'm going to now center it to the bottom. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to line it to the bottom. And it's going to flow from one section to the next. And now we've created a visually interesting section divider there. And that's just really great to tie this site together. So we've got our text that's balanced. All right. We have got a, a beautiful background image for our mobile menu here. And I'm going to hit uh, save and exit so we can see that. We've got our uh, announcement bar close is gone. And then uh, for mobile, of course, you have to adjust your, um, your divider as well here. I'm going to do that real quick and pull that up. And I want to stretch this as well. That's going to be fill that space. It's going to make it better on mobile. And there we go. Now we've got mobile. Looks great. Maybe bump this down one. And then we've got desktop view. And there we go. We've got a great section of item. I'm going to hit save. And now as we look at this website, there we go. Our CSS is working and we're going to make it full width here. There we go. That just looks like a really cohesive site. So I love these four tips. They're really easy to implement on your site and they just make the site really nice and tidy. So I hope you enjoy them too. All right, I mentioned these tips and tricks on how to make any Squarespace site better because not only are they easy, but they come from some of the Squarespacers that I know and love, and I know you know and love them too. And if you've built your career on Squarespace, then you follow these experts, and they're gonna be joining me at a new event for the Squarespace community called the Designer Retreat. It's gonna be in Charleston, March 23rd and 24th, 2026. And this is something new for our community. This is not a course. This is a conversation, a conversation about your business. So beforehand, you'll be able to list out your business challenges, your needs, and questions to our panel of experts. Then while we're there together in Charleston, we're gonna workshop your business live and see how they would respond if they were in your shoes. Now, I'm really excited about this panel and I'm excited about who's gonna be joining me. It's gonna be Becca Harpain, Ben Manley, Kelsey from Week of the Website, Omari, Will Myers, and, and of course, Christy Price will be there as well. This is a exciting time and I hope you'll join me. Go to thedesignerretreat.com because there's only 24 spaces available. We wanted the event to be very intimate and focused on workshopping and problem solving collectively together. If you want to know more about me, you can go to page1branding.com and as always, you can like and subscribe to all things inside the square by clicking the button below and following along with Becca and her amazing world here. Hope you have a great day.